I was about 11 years of age when I read my first book on astronomy. The book was in Russian, a translation from English, and was called Heavenly Bodies. It helped me understand the existing notions about the universe. The impression it made on me was immense, and in a way it changed all my ideas about the outer world. And so I got involved. Viktor Hambartsumian was born in 1908. He got his primary education in Tbilisi. In 1928, he graduated from the Physical Mathematical Department of the Leningrad State University. In 1926, at the age of 18, he published his first scientific article in a German magazine, Astronomische Nachrichten. Among his first works was an article written in association with Ivanenko in 1930, where it was said for the first time that the nucleus of an atom contains, besides protons, also some neutral particles. Later, neutrons were discovered. In 1931, Hambartsumian completed his postgraduate research at the Pulkov Observatory and was soon invited to lecture at the University of Leningrad. In 1934, he was already a professor of that university and a year later was granted a doctor's degree even though he did not defend a thesis. In 1939, Hambartsumian was elected associate member to the Academy of Sciences of the Soviet Union. He is considered the founder of the Soviet School of Theoretical Astrophysics. His early works on the physics of gaseous nebulae and the distribution of the absorbing matter in galaxies are referred to as classical. One of his remarkable ideas that deals with the problem of light scattering in turbid media is known among scientists as Hambartsumian's invariancy principle. The scientist had worked out and developed this principle to be used in solving astrophysical problems only, yet later it was adopted in mathematics, geophysics, radiophysics and elsewhere. During an interview, in reference to this problem, Hambartsumian mentioned that he believed the invariancy theory to be rather a general method that would further allow to solve theoretical and practical problems. It was a new approach that was to be in use for years to come. Another of Hambartsumian's significant achievements is the study of the so-called converse problems and the application of this approach to a number of astrophysical problems. It is noteworthy that he consistently referred to the experimental method in dealing with problems of the evolution of cosmic bodies which allowed to approach the phenomenon of star and galaxy formation and their evolutionary phases from a different perspective. In 1947, through a study of observation materials, Hambartsman proved the existence of star clusters of early spectral class stars in the galaxy, which he called stellar associations. New stars are born as a result of fission of a superdense matter, Another important deduction was that the star-forming processes still continue in the galaxy. Stars are mostly formed in groups and clusters, and not by one. Hambartsman expressed the belief that stars were born as a result of fission of a super-dense mass of pre-star matter. In other words, stars are formed by transformation of super-dense matter into lesser astral density. This approach was an alternative to the then existing classical opinion according to which stars were formed through condensation of gaseous clouds or diffuse matter. The abundant observation materials obtained at various observatories worldwide 
their studies vouch for the theory of the Armenian scientist. Very often ideas presented by Hambar Tsumyan were at first accepted skeptically, yet later they usually proved to be accurate. A proof of this is the idea of active nuclei in galaxies. This was first presented in the late 50s and was first substantiated through observations in the early 60s and today the concept of an active nucleus is commonly known in astronomy. Nowadays scientists may not always remember that it was Hambar Tsumyan who first mentioned the continuity of the star forming processes in galaxies or the existence of young stars or the active nuclei in galaxies and so on. cease to get surprised at how one by one all Hambar Tsumyan's ideas proved to be true, ideas that he clairvoyantly predicted many years ago. These are the words of Professor Jan Ort, a Dutch astronomer. <laughs> 